them all. 2011, now as you said, we're taking out injuries, so we're, we're going with the best yeah, team available. It, everyone's healthy, everyone's in good everyone, form. Yeah, exactly, right. Um, so this means that we've got you know Dan Carter in there, because obviously he wasn't there in 2011, um, for the final at least. Uh, so... Going from 1 to 15, Tony Woodcock, yep. Kevin Mialamu, yes. Owen Franks. Okay, that front row, would any of the front row right now make that? Not at all. Okay, let's give us the locks Not then. at all. Not at all, give us the locks. Brad Thorne, Brad Thorne. Sam Whitelock, okay, who's stop, still around. Let's stop there. Is anyone from the locks, at the current locks, going to beat out either of those guys? Now, Brody on, cur- is, on current form? Brody at his absolute peak, you could... Yes, but right now, no. Right now, no. No. Give us the loose forward trio. Jerome Kano, Richie McCaw, Kieran Reid. Legends, all of them, 100 test veterans, all of them, the three best players in the world in their positions, yep. all of them. Give me a, a back rower, seven or six current all black that makes that, that forces one of those guys out. No one. So, right, no one. No. So all of a sudden, the, the, the forward one pack can... from 2011, yeah. no, for, no one from 22 is making that forward pack. Keep going. Jimmy Cowan slash Pity Weepu. Because Jimmy held the jersey for a mm-hmm. while, but then Pity played in the knockout stage of the World Cup, didn't he? Yeah. So one of those two, I think, will lean towards Pity. Okay, but I'd say that Aaron Smith on form would be a better player. Absolutely. Okay, but Aaron Smith at the moment, is he going to take out one of those two guys? I think Aaron Smith's still playing pretty well. Okay, he might. Okay, so he had a great so, game last week. So there you go, Nug might. All right, yep. keep going. DC. Dan Carter. DC at question. 10. Okay, he got injured. So, But this is the team that we're picking right yep. at the start. So even at his best, is Bowden going to replace no, DC in the team? Not for me, no. Okay, keep going. Uh, Richard Carhill on the left wing. Give us the midfield first. Okay, we'll go midfield. Okay, midfield then back three. Okay, uh, Ma'onanu, Corey Smith. No one from this midfield has taken the place of those not guys. So now we've got the forward pack, 9, 10 in the midfield. Okay, yep. no one from the 22, 22 side is as good as those guys. Keep going. Give us the, give us the back Give us the back three. Okay, left wing, Richard Carhill. Right wing, Corey Jane. CJ. And fullback Israel Dag, but I've gone slash Mills Muliaina because Mills, Mills obviously was. Mills played a game as yep. well. Well, I'm at the moment, Fanuku has not taken out Kahui, who played brilliantly at the no. World Cup. Uh, CJ, again, played his best at that World Cup. And even though Severu's probably a better player in some aspects, under the high bullet, I'd take Corey Jane. And Israel Dag was magnificent at fullback. Wasn't he? That was like his his proper rival. The as well. combination of those three as well. In two thousand and nine, yeah. the box came here. They beat us three in a, in a test series, and all they did was box kick up and under. We couldn't catch huh, Cole. The box, box we, kick. we couldn't catch. So we formed what was called the bomb squad, and those three guys were absolutely brilliant. All right, now let us go to two. Th- so so maybe one player from today would make that team. Maybe one. Aaron Smith. Yeah. Maybe one. Maybe one. Let's go to twenty fifteen. <laughs> And this is my point. And this is the perspective. Right. Give me the front row. Sorry, 2015. Yep. Joe Moody. Moody. Dane Coles. Dane Coles. Owen Franks. All right. So who who else? Any of those guys? Well, Dane Coles is still there. Yep. Dane Coles. This was a, this was peak Dane Coles. Peak Dane this Coles. Was Dane, this was peak Dane Coles. Peak Dane Coles beats Cody Taylor to the to the Absolutely. two jersey. Yep. yep. And tell me a prop that's going to be better than Joe Moody out of, out of the ones that we got at the moment. Consistency wise, none of them are making it. Uh, the locks: Brady Retallick, Sam Whitelock. Okay. So same well, current. Exactly the same. Give me the loose Ford trio. <laughs> Jerome Kano, Richie McCaw, Kieran Reid. Again, you're talking about generational players. Yep. You know, this is like the Man United side that won the treble in 99 with Skulls, Becks, Keane, Giggs. Mm. Generational players. You can't just lose those players and replace them. And this is the problem that we've had in New Zealand rugby. And we talked about this with Justin Marshall. Since Jerome Kano left the All Blacks, these are the names that we've tried. Squire, Messam, Luatua, Akira, Thompson, Vito, uh, Whitelock, that's Luke, Jacobson, Savia, Fafita, Frizzell, Papa Lee, Ethan Blackadder, Todd, Elliot Dixon, Scott Barrett, Sam Kane. We've tried them all. And there was another name who was named in a squad, and I believe it was Blake Gibson, but never actually made his debut. And I actually have a we feeling Dylan Hunt played for the All replaced Blacks. Jerome, Richie, or Karen because you can't replace the best players in the world mm. unless you've got a guy that's the best player in the world. Mm. Give me the halfback and, and first five combination in 2015. Aaron Smith, Dan Carter. <laughs> so we've got Aaron Smith there at the moment and a brilliant Bowden Barrett on his day, the world's player of the year. Sure, but DC is probably the best first five we've ever had. No disrespect to Grant Fox. I would pick Grant Fox to kick for my life and play for my life. Yeah. But Dan Carter in 2015 was goddamn magnificent. Yeah. Give me the midfield. <laughs> my own new comrades. Again, Smith. listen to what we're saying here, people. You know, you, this is why you can't hammer Ian Foster as coach. He doesn't have the goddamn cattle that we've had previously. Yeah. Okay. Give me, give me. So back that's three. Back three. Julian Savia. This was at year, his best. Th- this was year he was nominated this for was in World the bus, Player of the Year. 
Okay, so he was nominated for... So he this was, was his best okay, year. Okay, so the big bus on the left. Uh, Nehi Milner Scudder on the right. Well, I'm His s- best year. I'm sorry, but Sever was not replacing Nehi when Nehi was playing that well in 2015. Now, this is the thing. And who was fullback? Ben Smith. Well, okay, again. Cut once again. Just, again you know, he's one of our, probably one of our two greatest fullbacks. This is why we won the World Cup. This is why we were the best team in the world. We had the best players. At the moment, how many All Blacks were nominated for World Player of the Year last year? None. Let me repeat that question. None. 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 For the first time since 2004. None. 